Lights, that time once again for another Wintergrass defense, January the 13th, 2022. We are going to head on into the sunken ring for the initial team fight, of course. That's how everybody plays this battleground. You definitely got to get rank ASAP if you want to win this one. Don't forget to hit that like, share, subscribe, notification bell. Got them dropping in already. You'll notice certain classes can drop in like that and not take any fall damage whatsoever. But we're going to take out this druid in any case here. Stun locked in the back, ripped further back. They're coming in from the backside too. Couple healers back here, Citizen Void and a Paladin healer as well named Freaks. Okay. I'm not sure why Alliance likes to come in the back door here, man, because our cannons can just wreck them from there. Huh. Maybe they expected that we didn't have anybody in the cannons or maybe they killed the cannons first. I don't know. We got Freaks here on top of the flag going down. <laughs> <laughs> the freaks go down. Citizen Void's going to go down too. Looks like we got a couple of their heels down. They still got two shamans, two priests, a monk, and a druid still. Taking down a DPS monk here. They are gone. Now we can start pushing away from the flag. A lot of them went to the south side there too, just like normal. We are pushing away. Don't have rank two yet. Probably coming any second though. There it is, rank two. Got it. Now we can take out the rest of them here. The build goblin is usually up probably about now. So it's probably time to start building here. Looks like we got a couple people trying to hide around back. Mike traps. Got a him and a druid over here. You're going to try and cyclone. No, you're going to get that cyclone kicked. Hunter goes down. Chase down the druid. I got stunned. Bash. Shadow step stunned back to you too. How do you like being stunned? And got the killing blow too. Give me that kill there. Took the demo all the way here to East Spark Workshop. Looks like we got a couple that are heading over to the East Tower. East Spark's going to cap here first. Got it now. All the people that die here will resurrect over there on the west side of the map. I like to do it that way just because it's a lot more idiot proof, you know. <laughs> you get all their teams spawning on the west side of the map. You got a really clear path to just take down the East Tower and most of the time the South Tower with without anybody even trying to stop you. Got a druid over here that's trying to get away. Don't let him get away. If he gets away, you know he was going straight to cap either SR or cap the East Spark back. Looks like we got East Tower down. South Tower is going to start going down next. Got a rogue to deal with here. He vanishes. Don't matter. South Tower is down. Now we can go over here now. Check out what's going on on the way to BT. Priest is trying to run away. Can still hit him with the demo here. Ah, uh, he's going to get away. He's going to get in the water. Over here in Wintergrass, you cannot take the vehicles in the water. They will die. Not like IOC. It is interesting, though. I actually had a couple vehicles in IOC and took them in the water. And If you go out into the water too deep, the vehicles do die, it seems like. <laughs> and you also die inside the vehicle, too, because you get sent back to the graveyard. <laughs> oh... Got a mage up here, NBT. Arcanal Spear is not going to be able to take out my demo. You go down. Finish off the hunter next to. All the healers are all stacked up right here. Where are our catapults when we need them? There's one here. Got Wise in the catapult. Turned around, try to get a better regroup. Put a smoke bomb up too. Finish the paladin in the back. Got him before the heals got him. Nice. Got one of their catapults down here. Shaman should drop two. Give me that kill next on the healing monk. Brew Lee. Brew Lee is down. Kill the seed. Got to take out the seeds. The kill doesn't even count until you take out the seed, right? More Shaman and they're running away. Our southwest wall is at 77% and they got one of the towers down to 22 Probably with just catapults. <laughs> we already have all the towers down south dead. So it's pretty much just turtle soup here until the last 10 minutes of the match run out. Got another healer right here. Tiny Goth Girl, that's your name? <laughs> okay. Citizen Void. Got a shaman on their team named Alexis, but that's not spelled the same way as our Alexis in SAS. <laughs> Yeah, they got some interesting names over there. They got a warlock named Baldy Locks. <laughs> oh. They are trying to push hard to go over to BT. They want to actually put some more pressure on the west side of the wall, which they only did 25% damage for, so they're really not committed to the west wall. 
Problem is, is we got a ton of people on the east side of the base too, so they're not going to be able to do much pressure on either side, really. We're kind of split pretty good right now. They are not capping BT yet. Possible they might, though. They get some more kills here. We got a few more people coming back in. Need all those demos back there in the back to get here on top of the flag. Taking down a catapult here. It's going to go down. Yep. Take down Tiny Goth Girl. Up, oh, feared. Trinketed the fear. Shadow Step stunned. Bye bye. Couple more this way. Can we kill the Druid first? Yeah, Druid dies first. Easy. Bye bye. Got me a catapult now. Why is this catapult is down? We got a couple in here trying to stop us from building more. Use the fire. Fire should be able to take them out. Nice. Got one of them there. Got some heals going off too. Wise was healing my vehicle, I think, at that point. Killed the shaman there. Got a warrior attacking from the north side on BT here. Trying to get him with the fire. Vehicles don't turn fast enough. He's got parry up right now, and he's going to charge back in. I'm going to go run this way and juke him a little bit. Get some more fire on him. He's back to full already. Wow. Okay. That's all right. My vehicle's going to go down. Now I can do full kidney. Yep. Will the Forsaken your fear. Go ahead and put some more damage down. Put my macro on your face. I kill. Ha ha. The rogue's going to open up on me too. I already hit evasion, I'm sure, though, so... Vanished out of there. I'm not going to get away completely. I'm going to go back and try to take out the rogue. Got him. Got him both. I'll take both of those killing blows. Get my exercise in for the day. Now we got to push towards the west spark here. They have a demo up here and like five people on the ground. Huh. Why would they not build on their way here? They have four slots open. Interesting. Got me a catapult now so I can proceed to use the fire fire like Beavis and Butthead here. And looks like we're good. Tell people, don't build, man. Reverse psychology. <laughs> well, it must have worked because we're almost full on capped on vehicles again. <laughs> they brought a siege over here to the west gate and a demo using the fire here to take out the warlock. It's going to put unstable affliction on my vehicle, but he's going to go down in the process. Baldy Locks is down. Finish off Shammy. Shammy's down too. Everything's clear. Here comes the freaks again. What are they doing? Oh, they just must have had that catapult that got wrecked. Bye-bye. Go back to the workshop there and rebuild and come back again. 30 seconds left to go in the match. Looks like Mage is down there too. And that's all she wrote. By the time I get anywhere, I'm glider this way. Not going to even make it to get anybody to attack. <laughs> oh, almost. 11-0, man. Not bad. I will take it. Looks like Zoso had 22 at the top. May all of your random battlegrounds be epic. A thousand battles, a thousand victories. Until next time. GG for the Horde.